You will see on our website a photograph of your deputy first minister. Uh, we don't know if he's actually pointing the gun at somebody, or shooting at somebody, or just doing a bit of practicing. Um, it's unbelievable. Here's a photograph of the deputy first minister of Northern Ireland, or the deputy first minister of Ulster. Uh, we now have a situation in Northern Ireland where an IRA man, and who is proud of to be an IRA man, but now we have a photograph of him pointing a weapon, heaven only knows what at, um, and not even a hood on him, but then he always glorified in what he did anyway. But we want questions answered by our politicians and by our chief constable and the HET. They're running around arresting people from within the Protestant community, and in cases quite rightly so. But if it's a UDR man or a policeman, they're arrested with the drop of a hat. Here's our deputy first minister with what is quite evident is a weapon in his hand. And we have had this photograph sent to us, um, and there's no doubt who it is. Now, again, it's in relation to the legal action that we're taking. People think that we're only a few individuals sitting in South Armagh that uh, we really don't know what we're doing. Well, tell that to Newry Morn Council, tell that to, to Karen Gaddafi. Um, we've been able to take the actions against them, and especially Newry and Morn, and win. The actions we're taking against these people, we will win. It'll be a hard fight, but we will win it, because what is right is right, and what is evil has to be dealt with. And this is definitely an evil man. He's quite clearly stated that he was in charge of the IRA. And now we have a, a picture here from brandishing a handgun about. And that's this is another point that needs to be made clear. There was people in that period in the London area, area who were murdered with a Luger handgun. Now there wasn't too many of them about. Now I don't know if this Luger pistol had anything to do with any mothers, but I think the police are entitled to give us answers on it. And Martin McGuinness needs to be challenged. What was he doing with that weapon? And what was actually going on when the photograph was taken? And was this weapon used in mothers in that area? If anybody knows of any incidents that took place where it is believed a Luger weapon was used, could the police contact us? Because we will certainly be very interested to hear from them. And like I say again, it is the evidence is out there again, these people. If people will just come forward, we will guarantee that anything that is given to us is kept anonymous and as far as to say that um, where it come from. It doesn't matter if people from the Roman Catholic community or wherever, we will guarantee you complete secrecy in the information that's given to us. And we thank the people that give us this here. Uh, it's only an example of what we have. There's a lot more to come. But it is time we had answers why the Deputy First Minister of Northern Ireland is pictured holding a Luger weapon, a Luger pistol, and he's now joint first minister of this country. What are we coming to? What's democracy now down to? Where we have gunmen sitting in government who are photographed brandishing weapons about. We all probably knew that he had done it, but it's only when you see it, the old saying, a picture says a thousand words. There's about a hundred thousand words said here with this picture. And we're demanding action from the police and we're demanding now.